Today, I want to show you how you can extract data from a PDF document automatically using the magic of AI. And when I say that we're going to use AI, your first thought might be, wow, this is going to be incredibly complicated. But it actually turns out it's very simple. We are going to build and train our very own AI model simply by pointing and clicking our mouse. Here at the Kevin Cookie Company, we receive all of our cookie orders as PDF attachments in email. Go figure, we have lots of antiquated processes here. My manager wants me to manually copy and paste the data from the PDF into a separate system. Doesn't my manager know that I have YouTube videos to pull together? Instead, we are going to use something called Microsoft AI Builder. And we're going to train the computer to do all of this heavy lifting for us. There are two caveats before we jump in. First, you'll need a work or school Microsoft account. And second, your organization needs an AI Builder license. I've included more information about this down below in the description. If you just want to follow along, anyone can sign up for a free 30-day trial. To set this up, head to the website office.com and then click on sign in. Once you finish signing in, in the bottom left-hand corner, click on the icon that says All Apps. On the All Apps page, click on the Power Automate icon. With Power Automate, you can automate all types of different business processes. And if you scroll down just a little bit on the page, you'll see some example templates that showcase what's possible. If this is your first time ever using Power Automate, I've included an introductory video right up above and down below in the description that'll show you all of the fundamentals. Over on the left-hand side, let's select AI Builder and within the submenu, select Build. On the next page, we can see all of the different ways that we can leverage AI to make our work easier. Here, for example, you can use AI to understand text and whether it's negative or positive. You can use it to categorize feedback, to predict outcomes. You can even use AI to identify objects within an image. That's pretty slick. Now, I have orders that I need to start processing so let's click back into Documents, and down at the bottom, let's select Form Processing Model. Next, let's click on Use Custom Model, and then click on Get Started. Next, I need to choose what information I want to extract from my Order Form PDF. Here, I'll click on Add. I can extract all types of information. I can extract fields, tables of information, tables that span multiple pages, and even checkboxes. When I look at my order form, first I want to pull the order number, then the customer name, and I'll work my way through the entire form. So first I'll type in order number and then click on OK. And once again, I'll go through the rest of the form. Now that I've entered all of the different fields, I'll click on Next. Next, we need to create a collection. And a collection is simply a group of documents that share a similar layout. With the Kevin Cookie Company, we have one order form with one specific layout. But let's say we had another order form with a different look and feel or a different layout. I could set up multiple collections. Here, I'll click on the plus icon. Then I'll select files on my computer. And here, I only need to select five separate files. That's all it takes to train our model. I'll click on Upload, and once all the documents have uploaded, I'll close this window. On the next screen, I need to tag my document. This is basically where I teach the computer what the order number is, what the customer name is. Here, for example, I'll click on the order number and I'll tag it as the order number. I'll also go through the rest of the fields and tag them. Once I finish tagging this first document, I'll go through the remaining four documents in my collection and I'll tag those as well. Now, I could always come back to this step and I could tag additional fields. 
and I could even go back and add additional documents into my collection. Now that I've finished all of this, I'll click on next. Next, we see a summary page and we're just about ready to train our model with our sample data. So what is a model? Well, the easiest way to think of it is it's a simple algorithm that understands the data within your document and also where it's located within your document. Let's now click on train. Let's now click on go to models. Here now I can see that my model is trained. So it understands my order form and how to pull that information out of the PDF. And right here, I could run a quick test to verify that it works properly. I'll upload a sample PDF file and look at that. It correctly identifies all of the information contained within the PDF. Now that I've confirmed that everything works as I expected to, I'll click on publish model. We have now successfully created our very first model. My job at the Kevin cookie company is about to become a lot easier, but a model is only so good on its own. We have to put it to use in some type of flow. You can use either power automate and I shared a link to this earlier, or you could use it in something called power apps. If you've never heard of Power Apps before, I've included an introductory video right up above and also down below in the description. For this example today, let's incorporate this model into a Power Automate flow. I'll click on Power Automate. On this page, I can create a flow from a sample or I could start my own from scratch. Now, when I look at the first example, this shows an email attachment, and that's exactly the situation that I face here at the Kevin Cookie Company. So I'll select this first option. Now, once again, we're going to use this as an example. If you wanna create your own flow, you can take a look at this and you'll very easily be able to replicate this. The beautiful thing about Power Automate is you can connect any other applications. Let's say I get this order via email as an attachment. I could pull out the details and I could add them to a spreadsheet or I could pull out the details and add them into a team's message. The possibilities truly are endless. Here I could see how the example flow works. First off, it receives an email with a PDF attachment or my order form. When I expand this section, I can see that one requirement is that it needs to have AI builder in the subject to trigger this, but I could customize that to whatever I want. It'll go through and extract all of the details from the attachment. And as a next step, then it'll create a new email message and insert all of those details from the PDF. Now, of course, instead of creating an email here, I could insert it into a spreadsheet. I could add the details to Teams or any other connector available within Power Automate. Now that I've confirmed that this flow looks good, I'll click on Save. Now that we've trained our model, we've set up a new Power Automate flow, now it's the moment of truth. We're going to test this out to see if we can successfully extract all of the details from this PDF attachment. Here, I'll create a new email message and I'll send it to myself. In the subject, I'll enter in AI Builder and then I'll also attach a PDF order form. And then I'll send the file and let's see what happens. Now look at that, I just received an email with all of the details extracted from my order form. That is pretty cool and it'll make my job a lot easier. Now, if only I could get a commission from all of you for all of the time that you're going to save. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something new, please give it a thumbs up. To watch more videos like this, please consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.